Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about the policies in Microsoft Teams. So in this lecture, I'll discuss about the different types of policies, like what is the use of these policies, how you can create the policies and how you can assign these policies to the users. Like uh, I can say, what are the ways to assign the policies to the particular users or I can say a group. So we'll discuss about everything in detail. So first thing is what are policies in Microsoft Teams? So let's say policies are a set of rules and settings that determine how your team interacts with Microsoft Teams, right? So there are a particular set of rules. Whenever you are in Teams Admin Center, you will be able to see there are different types of policies like policy packages there, or you can say Teams meeting policies, live, live events policies or app permission policies. So whenever you create a new policy, it will give you uh, it will give you a number of rules and settings. You can turn it off, you can turn it on, uh, and there will be uh, multiple options to select it as well, right? So these are the things which you create and assign it to the users so that, so that they can use it like, uh, Let's say we can take an example for the policy. Let's say you create one policies where uh, you don't want users to edit the messages which they sent, right? So you can turn off the option in that policy. And as soon as you're assigning this policy to a user, that particular user will not be able to edit the messages, whichever he or she sent, right? So what is the importance of these policies? Policies can help maintain a secure and streamlined teamwork environment by ensuring everyone knows what is expected of them and what would be the benefit if we create the policies. It offers a framework to regulate users access and usage permissions. That is what I discussed. And a specific policy can even be assigned to a specific set of peoples or users. You can even assign the policies to a individual user or I can say a group of users or I can say in a batch. I'll discuss about those things as well, how you can assign the policy or I can say what are the ways to assign the policies to the users. Then we have this thing that is types of policies in Microsoft Teams. So first is policy package. We can't say this consider under the types of policies, but this is a policy package. These are different like meeting policies, version calling policy, this is different, but the policy package. So first thing, what is policy package? It says it is a collection of predefined policies and settings you can assign to users who have similar roles in your organization. That means you can create a policy package which will be a collection of all the predefined policies and the settings what you wanted to give and then you can assign it to users who are who are on the same role in in your organization right then we have meeting policies this is a meeting policy setting what the purpose of this meeting policy this policy is used to control the features that are available to meeting participants for meetings scheduled by users in your organization and these policies include the following topics like audio and video policies content and screen sharing policies, participants, guests and access policies and the general policies as well. All these things comes under the meeting policies. I, I'll show you uh, all the things in the Teams Admin Center as well, like uh, for the meeting policies, how you can create the audio policy, video policy, content and screen sharing policies, like all the guests and external policies. I, I'll show you everything on the Teams Admin Center. Then we have voice and calling policies. So these policies manage these settings through Teams Admin Center, such as emergency calling, call routing, or the caller ID. And you can also control options such as call forwarding, voicemail, call recording, and more, right? Then we have this app permission policy. App permission policy, it, this means whether you are allowed for the third party apps or not. These are the different types of things in the app permission policies. What it says, app policies are used to control applications in Microsoft Teams. Admins can allow an app or a block an app, 
right? So admins can allow or block which apps user can install or pin application to a user's Teams app bar and install application on behalf of the users. So admin can even uh, pin an application to a app bar as well in the Microsoft Teams, right? Then we have messaging policy. What it says, messaging policies control chat and channel feature availability, right? Messaging policy, like whether you can create the channel or you can do whatever things like, let's say, uh, let's say you wanted to create a channel in that particular team, whether you are allowed to create that or not, that would come under these messaging policies. Then we have live events policies. Live events policies manage the settings and permissions related to organizing and presenting live events in Teams. You can even configure policies to control who can create and manage live events, assign presenters, and control attendee interactions as well. Then we have this thing overview of policy settings, right? Teams. So, first is you can say, uh, like, if you create policies, like, we were discussing about the messaging policy, like allow channel creation. On that, you can check whether you are allowed to create the channel or not, right? That's what it says, determine whether team owners can create channels or not. Then team's guest settings, it controls what guests are allowed to do in the team. Like let's say you have added one of the guests who are a part of a different organization, or maybe you have added a Added your personal email ID as a guest you you logged in, but is there any particular thing which your organization users can do, but your guests cannot do? That also you can block it or allow it on the team's guest settings, whether this person is allowed to, uh, let's say, attach a file or not, or let's say, edit send messages or not. There are so many different things, or whether they are allowed to send uh, Giphy's or, or or any any other thing as well. That is what you can check it under the guest settings or I can say guest access. That is a policy. Then we have meeting policy, manage options for scheduled teams meetings. Okay, then we have a thing like how we can create and manage policies in Microsoft Teams creating and manage policies. So first step is you can access the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, right? You can gain access to Teams Admin Center to begin creating new policies. So there are two ways to assign the policies. One is you can assign it with the help of this Microsoft Teams Admin Center. And second is with the help of Microsoft Teams PowerShell module, or I can say with the help of commands in the PowerShell. Right, this would be the first step. You can access the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. You can create a new, new policy, it depends on that, which policy you wanted to create. Like let's say you wanted to create an app permission policy, or maybe you wanted to create a messaging policy, or maybe a live event, or maybe a meeting policy. Depends on that, you can go to the particular tab and you can create a new policy. That's what it says, efficiently create new policy using Microsoft Teams, simple user interface. Third step would be modify and manage policies as required. Let's say you have created a policy, but you wanted to modify as well. You can do that also. Easily modify and manage your policies to fit the changing needs of your organization, right? So it, it's not like that you created one policy and you cannot change the settings later on. No, you can change it. Then we have this thing that is best practices for using policies in Microsoft Teams. So first is be clear about policies. Ensure every team member understand the policy within the organization and how to comply with them. Regularly review policies that you can, uh, you can uh, periodically review the policies, whether these policies needed or not, or if it is not used by anyone, you can, you can even delete it. So you can update it based on the, based on the needs. And third is train all team members. That means provide training and resources on the policies for all team members to ensure they are appropriately followed. Okay. Then we have this thing that is conclusion at last. What are the benefits and conclusion? Benefits will be policies are a crucial element that helps ensure consistency, security, and compliance within an organization. All right. So if you are not creating any policy, then every user is getting a global default policy, 
which is created by default by Microsoft, right? Even you can make changes on that uh, global policy as well, but it's recommended to create a new policy and assign it to the users. Conclusion, take advantage of Microsoft Teams policies to create productive and secure communication and collaboration environment, right? So now let me show you on the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, what are the different types of policies, how you can create it. Okay, so this is my Microsoft Teams Admin Center and here you can see if I go first to the Teams, here you can see the Teams policies, right? So once I click on this one, you will be able to see one Teams policy would be good by default. That is this one, global org wide default. We have a another policy as well that is test which I created in my environment. This is a custom policy and you can create it here under this custom policy tab. You can see it says yes. That means this is the policy which I created. And here it says custom policy no for the global org wide default because this policy is created by default whenever you uh, create this Microsoft Teams admin center, right? This is the Teams policy. Then we have, then we'll go to Teams app. Here you can see the app permission policies. Here also you will be able to see one of the thing like global app default. And this one is another like this is a custom policy which I maybe created earlier for one of the app that is app permission policies. Then we have if you go to meetings here you can see the meeting policies and the live events policies as well. So we were discussing about the meeting policies like uh, uh, how you can schedule a meeting or, or there might be uh, other things as well for the meeting policy, whether you have restricted someone for the recording or maybe something else. So I'll discuss about all these policies in detail as well in, in the upcoming lecture, not in this one because it might be a, a big recording for this one. I'll discuss about all these policies one by one in detail so that it would not be, uh, it would not be like, uh, like it would not be in a single video. I, I'll create it in a different videos. Then we have uh, live events policies also. Again, same thing. You will be able to see global org wide and then you can create a new policy as well. I'll show you one policy. That is what I was discussing about. I believe messaging policy where you can, uh, where I was giving an example of whether you can add it sent messages or not. There is an option to turn it on or turn it off. So we have that is for messaging policy. Here you can see this is default policy again there. Let me open this one global org wide. And here you can see, I was discussing about this one. Honors can delete sent messages on or off. I was actually discussing about this added sent messages, whether you are allowed to edit sent messages or not. If you are making a change to this global org wide, it will be for everyone where, where uh, all the, if the all users are having this policy global org wide default, then everybody will be able to edit the send messages. But if you create a new policy and there you turn this option off and assign that policy to the users, then they won't be able to edit the send messages. So this is actually how the policy looks like. Like this is the default policy for users who are not assigned to a policy, right? So here we have so many options, not just the edit send messages, but we have for Giphy, we have for chat with groups, Giphy content trading, everything. So I'll discuss about all these things in detail as well for this meeting policy. And if I go to this voice, then you will be able to see the calling policies, call hold, call park, caller ID. This, these all policies like emergency policies, voice routing policy as well and the voicemail policy, everything comes under the voice and calling policies, right? So, and this is the policy package. In this policy package, you will be able to see a different types of policies as well, right? So these are created already. You can see, I'll discuss about this policy package as well in detail. It is not a custom created. This is created by default. As here, you can see default policies. These are 14 default policies. Custom policy is zero. And here you can see these are the default policies which are created by default by Microsoft, right? And the next thing which I wanted to discuss right now in this video is about the policy, how you can assign it to the particular users, or I can say, what are the different ways you can assign the 
policies to the particular users, right? So first is you can assign a normal policy to an individual user. Like for one user, you wanted to assign a policy. You can go to users, manage users. And if I open anyone, let's say I'm opening this one, Catherine Stain. And if you go to the policy settings, then you can assign the policy directly to a particular user, to an individual user here, right? I just clicked on policies. I have these different types of policies. I can click on anyone. I can change the policy, this one. Right. I can change the policy for this particular user. Okay. I went somewhere else. Okay. So this is how you can assign a policy to a particular user also. Uh, if I go to policies, let me let me open. Here you can see app permission policy, effective policy. If you want to change it, like I just clicked on this one, add it. And here you can change the app permission policy. If I have any other policy, then it will show it up here, right? Second thing, you can assign a policy to a group also, right? So group also, that means you can assign policies based on their group membership. It, that means group membership means if the user is a part of maybe maybe a security group or a distribution list as well. So you can assign the policy to a group also. You can assign a policy to a security group. And if all the users are a part of that security group, they will be getting assigned to that particular policy, which I assigned to a security group or a distribution list, right? And next, next method is you can assign a policy to a batch of user as well, like a hundreds or thousands of users in an organization, right? You can assign a policy to a large set of users. And again, you can assign these policies like to individual user, to a group or to a batch of users with the help of Microsoft Teams, this admin center, or with the help of Microsoft Teams PowerShell module. Like you can, you can assign this policy with the help of commands as well in the PowerShell. And this is this is regarding the one of the policy, but you can even assign a policy package as well. You can assign a policy package to the user, to the individual user, and you can assign the same policy package to a group. Group that means security, either a security group or a distribution list. And again, same thing, you can assign a policy package to a batch of users also, right? So these are the different ways you can assign uh, the policies to users, to a group of users, batch of users with the help of like security uh, group or maybe the distribution list, right? So this is what we have all about the different types of policies in Microsoft Teams. In the next lecture, I'll discuss how we can create the policies and I'll show you how we can assign that custom policy to a particular set of users or maybe to an individual user or maybe to a, a batch of user like hundreds, thousands, or maybe I'll, I'll just say maybe five or 10 users, I'll take it at a time, right? That is what I'll discuss about in the upcoming lecture. And then we'll discuss about how we can uh, create or assign the policies with the help of PowerShell module. I'll, I'll create one video on the introduction to the PowerShell, uh, Microsoft PowerShell, like how we can connect with the Microsoft Teams, how we can connect with Azure AD and what are the commands mainly what we can use in the in the PowerShell. And then I'll discuss about the policies or maybe I can say how we can create a user, how we can create channels, how we can uh, create uh, teams, how we can add the policies, how we can create the policies with the help of this PowerShell module. So I hope you really like this video and if you really like it, then you please hit like, share it and subscribe my channel. And if you want to schedule some time with me, you can go to this topmate.io slash technical venture, right? I hope you really like this video. So please, please, please press the bell icon so that you will be able to receive the notifications of all my upcoming videos. Thank you.